37. In the diagram of the circle O, chords R, T, and Q, S intersect at M. Um, secant P, T, R. So secant's just a, a line that comes from outside the circle. Um, and it crosses at two points. So that's the secant. And tangent P, S. So P, S only touches at one point, only at point S. And they're drawn circle O. The length of R, M is two more than the length of T, M. So let me label these as we go. So if I call TMX, then the length of RM is X plus 2. And QM is 2. And SM is 12. And PT is 8. So we got a lot of given information here. We've labeled it. And they want us to find two things. Find the length of RT and then find the length of PS. So in order to find the length of RT, we basically have to find X, right? And then, we could fi then we'll know RM and MT, and we could just add them together. So let's, for a minute, just forget about TP and PS out here. We have enough information just inside the circle to, we have two chords that intersect at a point that isn't the center of the circle. When that happens, they form similar triangles, and I'm not gonna prove it. Most students don't, you know, no, don't necessarily have to know this proof to solve the problem. It's a common situation that comes up where you have two chords that intersect. So just memorize that it's the product of one part of the line times the other part of the same line equal to one part of the other line times the other part of the same line. So in this case, it's going to be QM. I'll just do it symbolically first and then with numbers. QM times ms is equal to rm times mt right so it's this times this equals this times this got it so what is qm qm is 2 and that's being multiplied times 12 ms and rm we called it x plus 2 cuz it's two units longer than tm and that's being multiplied times TM or MT which is X and now we have an algebra problem on our hands so 24 equals we have to distribute over here right so X squared plus 2X and I'll subtract 24 from both sides so X squared plus 2X minus 24 and can we factor that yes we can it would be X plus 6 times X minus 4 so the values of x that would make this equation true are x equals negative 6 and x equals 4. In this case, one of the lengths is x. So x equals negative 6 doesn't make sense because we can't have a negative length. So we can throw that choice away and we can be sure that x equals 4. So what does that mean for rm and mt? rm must be x plus 2 which is 4 plus 2, so that's 6, and then mt is just x. So mt, or tm, take your pick, is 4. So they want to know what's rt. Well, rt is just rm plus mt, so rt is going to be 10. So rt equals 10, and that's the first answer. Okay, for the second part, they want us to find the length of ps. So now, let's call, I don't want to call it x because we've already used x, so I'll call it y. That's the length of ps. And there's this idea that when you have a secant and a tangent, we can set up a ratio where the length of the secant, rp, as compared to the length of the tangent, ps, is equal to the ratio of ps to the part of the secant that falls outside, pt. So I'm going to write that down symbolically for you. So the whole length of the secant RP is to the tangent PS as PS is to the part of the secant that falls outside of the circle which is PT. So in this case we know RP, we know TP, but we don't know PS, it's what we want. So that's what we've called Y. So RP is 8 plus the 10, so that's this whole thing, 
RP is 18, right? So 18 over Y equals Y over 8. So we can cross multiply. Y squared equals 8 times 18. 80 plus 64 is 144. So Y is the square root of 144, which is 12. So PS equals 12. So a couple of concepts there that uh, are a little tricky to remember, but with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get this answer correctly.